If I told you I could lift 550 pounds, one foot in a second, what would you call me? I call you a <laughs> I don't know how you knew that, so that is true, but I wanted you to call me a horse because the actual definition of a horsepower is the ability to lift 550 pounds one foot in a second, unless you're a horse named Dita, because German horses are weaker, Dieter. <laughs> Regardless of whether it's a horse or a car, what we want out of it is work. Lifting weight is work that we can measure. In physics, the rate at which we can perform that work is called power. And as you might have guessed, horsepower is just a measure of power. At some point, some demented person strapped Mr. Ed to a boulder using a pulley and then he tased him in his testicles. <laughs> and measured how quickly Mr. Ed could run away lifting that rock. It turns out that if that boulder weighs 550 pounds, Ed can lift it one foot in one second. Power is really just work over a period of time. So if the rock weighed half as much, 275 pounds, Eddie could lift it two feet in one second, or one foot and a half a second. Where an engine is concerned, that work is done in a rotational manner, so we measure work as torque. And power is simply defined as torque times RPM. Since a horsepower is not something that actually exists, it's not one-to-one, -one. you can't just do that, you have to divide it by a constant. In the case of imperial horsepower and pound-feet of torque, that is 5252. So, an engine's power is its torque in pound-feet times its RPM divided by 5252. Not every country uses a measurement system based on random numbers. Most of the world uses the metric system. And as it turns out, the metric system has a horsepower that's measured exactly the same way. A PS, as the Germans call it, stands for Pferdestärke, which means horsepower, is measured with the same S&M tactics. But this time, the boulder only weighs 75 kilograms and the horse drags it one meter in the air. Either because Dita the horse was tired, or the taser was weaker, turns out one PS is slightly less than one imperial horsepower, which is why you'll often see cars advertised with two different horsepower numbers, one PS and one horsepower. Something to remember, advertised horsepower is peak horsepower, which means it occurs once in the rev range at one point. At every other point in the rev range, that engine makes less power. And what happens before and after that point can change the way a car drives significantly. For example, here we have two two-liter four-cylinder engines that each make 200 horsepower. One is turbocharged, the other is naturally aspirated. At 2,500 RPM, the turbocharged engine makes one and a half times as much power as the naturally aspirated one does, and that's because of torque. At 2,500 RPM, the turbocharged engine makes one and a half times more torque than the naturally aspirated engine does. The result, provided all else is equal, the turbo car will be a little bit quicker to 60, but it'll be way quicker around town at low RPM because a turbocharger provides the biggest benefit at low RPM. One thing to note, these two cars, all else being equal, will have the same top speed. Why? Because speed is just a measure of how quickly you can do work, and so is horsepower. Same horsepower, same top speed. A better measure of power would be kilowatts. And whether you realize it or not, all engines are actually certified in kilowatts today. It's a much better measurement. It's a much more scientific measurement. It's not subject to the regional differences in the strength of a horse. Besides, everything we do with electricity is already measured in watts. The only reason we measure cars in horsepower and light bulbs in watts is because light bulbs didn't replace horses. Cars did. Now that electric motors are replacing internal combustion engines, this is the time to start using kilowatts. Not doing so would be like measuring your microwave oven in horsepower, which come to think of it would be pretty cool. 1200 watts worth of cooking power? Not anymore. Now I have a 1.6 horsepower microwave. <sighs> Imagine some schmuck pulls up in his Ram TRX and is like, my Hellcat makes 523 kilowatts. No, you tell him, it makes 702 horsepower, and then you drop a rock on him. And if that rock weighed 550 pounds and it fell one foot in one second before hitting him, well then you just threw a horse at him. That's the way it works, right? Right? Did I get that right? I think that's it. Yeah, that's how, that's how it works.
not an idiot. You know how this stuff works. Like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to check out the Haggerty Drivers Club.